Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to patch software. More specifically, I'm going to be showing you how to patch, patch soft, suckless software. And the interesting thing about suckless software is that it's made to be as minimal as possible. And if you actually want to add features, what you have to do is you actually have to, to uh, patch the program itself and recompile it, which may sound like a hassle and really complicated, but it's actually more simple than you would think, especially since suckless software is made to be very small and comparatively easy to understand compared to other um, programs written out there because there are some very con like stupidly complex um, programs out there. So uh, working and maintaining a suckless program is actually fairly easy in my opinion. But today I'm going to be showing you how to apply patches and sort of customize um, what you want out of your um, pro uh, program, or in this case suckless program. So I'm going to open up, go ahead and open up a terminal. And I'm also going to go ahead and open up my web browser and go to suckless.org. In this case, I'm going to be going, I'm going to go ahead and patching dmenu. And what dmenu is, is I actually have it on, installed on my system right here. But what dmenu is, is at its base level, it's actually a program launcher. But if you, uh, if you want to take take away from uh, you know the ability to launch programs, what it actually is is it's a menu, a, a menu program, and you can use it for a lot of things. You can use it for scripts. You can use it for just just a wide variety of things. Anything that can use a menu, you can use D menu for, and it's a very simple, uh, plain menu program, and it works very well. I recommend using it. I'll actually make a video on it um, in the future, but for now, I'm just going to be patching it. So. I'm going to go ahead and download dmenu. So I'm going to run git clone https colon slash slash git dot suckless dot org slash dmenu. And go ahead and download that and cd into it. And I'm going to go ahead and download some of these patches. So if you actually go to patches over here, you can see a whole list of all these different patches. And I'm just going to select, let's say, two of these, um, just as an example. So I'm going to download, uh, let's do mouse support. That's a nice thing to have. So go to mouse support, uh, copy that URL, and download it using curl. There we go. So we have our first patch. And let me choose one more patch to um, patch in. So. Let's do, ooh, reject no match. It's a good one. Uh, okay, let's copy that and download that using curl. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and close my web browser. So now I have these two patches that I wanna apply. First, let's actually compile the program and see how basic D menu works. So I'm gonna go ahead and run make. And as you can see, we now have um, an executable, executable here called D menu. So if we uh, run that, we don't get anything. We don't get anything because that's not how D menu works. What you have to do is you have to give it, um, you have to give it text to choose from. So if I do echo, uh, let's do some examples. Let's just do example. Uh, test and text. And let's go ahead and pipe that into D menu. So as you can see now, we have up here, we have three examples. We have example, test, and text. And uh, we can move our arrow keys to choose from these, or I can type in, let's just say test, and it will go ahead and match that option. So I'm going to type, I'm going to, I'm going to select test. And it will print test to the standard output or your terminal. So that's the basic functionality, D menu. Um, I'm gonna actually go ahead and run make clean to get rid of that program because we're gonna be patching it uh, and adding on to it. So first things first, I'm gonna patch mouse support. So in order to do that, what you need to do is you need to run the patch command and give it this little left arrow and a file name. Let's just say D menu mouse support. And basically what this does is it is it says uh, take the contents of D menu mouse support and put it into patch, and then patch will go ahead and apply, apply the contents of the file to the program you're currently 
working on. And so if I run that, as you can see, it patches it perfectly fine, no problems. So let me get rid of that patch so I don't accidentally reapply it. And let's run make. And so now we have dmenu, um, our new version of dmenu with mouse support. And so if I run that example for, uh, script again, or uh, <laughs> command, um, not only can I use the arrow keys to move around and select it and also type in whatever I want, but I can also, oops, I can also click whatever option I want. So let's just do text. And as you can see, whatever I click, it selects. So that's, that's a nice feature to have. And let's go ahead and apply our second patch. In this case, this is going to be dmenu reject no match. And let's go ahead and run the patch command. dmenu reject no match. And as you can see, we have our first failure. So as you can see, everything worked perfectly fine up until hunk number three, where it failed. And you maybe won't maybe wondering, oh, oh boy, what do we do now? But don't worry. Um, Patch has you covered. So what it does is it fails all your rejects to a reject file. In this case, dmenu.c.reject. So what we can do is we can go over to uh, to that file and open it up. So dmenu.c.reject. And in this case, this error is just a simple uh, print statement. And so it's nothing that actually affects the program itself, uh, at least in a big way. So that's, that's good to know. Um, but I'd like to fix it anyways. So let's go ahead and open dmenu.c. And so I'm going to go ahead and look for this function right here, usage void. So there we go, I found it. And so the difference here seems to be that we have an extra argument right here, v. So we can actually just add this single character. Um, or not v, sorry, um, the r option. So we can actually go ahead and add that right now. Um, and there we go, we, uh, we applied the contents, our rejected contents of our patch. So let's get rid of dmenu.c.reject. Okay. And then we go ahead and get rid of that patch because I don't need it anymore. And so that was an example of applying a fail patch because it is still possible to apply, apply a fail patch. Um, that one was extremely simple and um, not really that uh, critical at all. But sometimes you might be applying patches that change the entire way the program works, and that might uh, result in some conflicts. So uh, you would have to you have to apply a lot more um, uh, logical thinking in order, in order to get around that. But uh, this is just an example. Uh, if you really want to go ahead and patch stuff yourself, it's solving it's up to you. But <laughs> um, so now that we have all of our patches applied. Can go ahead and run make clean to get rid of our current program, and go ahead and make the program again. Okay, and so now, if we run that same example example program, or example command, uh, we'll everything works exactly the same. But we added uh, since we added the reject no match um, patch, if we give dmenu dash r, what it will do is it won't let us. Um, is it, it won't let us run any, um, it won't let us choose any of the options that aren't currently here. So for example, I can't type in hello and have it select hello. It can only choose one of the three options. Whereas with normal D menu, if I were to do that, oh, if I were to do that with normal D menu, as, as I'm about to do right here, I could type in hello and it'll still do that. So. That's, interesting. That's a great patch to have if you only want to choose from a certain uh, selected number of options. And that's really how to um, how to use the patch command with uh, dmenu. There also is um, another interesting thing you can do with the diff command. And let's just say I have this program. Let me run make clean. Let's just say I want to take the changes that I've made in config.h, for example. And I want to, um, or in this case, let's just say I want to take the changes I made in dmenu.c and give it to a friend for him to patch it. What I can do is I can actually run the diff command. And basically, I can give it dmenu.c.original. And this is the original dmenu.c file. Um, patch will actually generate an origin, a dot, a ridge file or original file when you patch a program, just as a sort of backup. 
And so I can give it dmenu.c. And then what it will do is it will generate a patch file. And this will this will basically um or it'll actually output the patch, but we can actually put this into a patch or diff file. So if I do um example.diff open it up. Uh, we actually have a oh <laughs> that's a wrong wrong file. Um, we actually have a diff file. Of course, I can actually look at the man page and um, see what um, see what options you can use. Of course, there are different types of diff files. I think um, Suckless programs do use a special type A of diff, if I recall correctly. But I think I think um, uh, that's a that's a topic for a completely different program or different video. So that's basically how to use uh, patch and how to patch Suckle software. I um, I hope that was useful to you guys. So I'll see you guys whenever.